and so hello for the month of September. Um, many of you who have been following uh, my predictions would remember when we started this year, I talked about it being a year where there's going to be a lot of emotion and uh, anything to do with relationships was going to be pretty full on. Well, the month of September is always a doubling of the universal year vibration. However, this month of September is not only double, doubling the year vibration, but it's going to the higher level. And this higher level is the energy vibration to do with heart, to do with Mary Magdalene, to do with Mary. Um, so it's, it's the mothering, it's the nurturing, um, and it, all of that is going to come up during this period of time. Now, because it's of the higher vibration, anyone that is working on a lower vibration emotionally are going to find this month extremely taxing. Okay, so we look at the, the first lot of energy I want to deal with is up until the 23rd. Now, up until that particular period of time, we're all having to be very, very careful of this um, critical energy. So it, it's about one looking at themselves instead of looking outside of themselves and criticizing everybody else or cr criticizing everything else that's going on beyond them. The big thing that I teach in my seminars and also when I'm doing my sessions with people is we've got to take responsibility for everything that happens in our lives. You know, and people go, well, well, hold on a minute, you know, well, like I didn't create that and I didn't create this and I didn't want this to happen and I didn't want that, ha that to happen. And I go, no, of course you don't on a conscious level. But on a subconscious level, whatever is unresolved is going to surface. And the only way that we can get whatever it is that we are unresolved about if we're not willing to look at it is to actually manifest in our, in our reality to then shake us, to wake us up. Now, after the 23rd, it's like things will get into a better balance. So just be very, very aware of what you're thinking, this whole critical energy, criticizing other people um, up until the 23rd. But around the 23rd, we do get it back into balance. Yeah, um, We have a another lot of energy that it that is taking place and it's got to do with like the whole of your your thought processes coming in and combined in with this critical energy so I'm wanting to say to you all just watch yourselves because you may be out of whack you may be really out of balance but from the 10th you'll find yourself doing a lot of reassessing because the energy will push you to reassess everything. And, uh, and around that particular period of time, that energy will stay and it's going to stay for the whole of the month, but it will move into mellowing out all of that, that, that criticalness. But it's not until around about the 24th that that comes into play. There's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of fire energy that's going to be taking place uh, to do with all relationships until around about the 5th. And at that particular point in time, uh-oh, what are we going into? Got to watch it. That critical energy is going to come in around relationships. It's around partnerships. It's around the way that you treat yourself. It's around the way that you speak to yourself. And that's going to be like that right through until the 29th. So basically through until the end of the month when you'll start to see yourselves being able to be a lot more objective. Um, there's a lot of uh, erratic energy, a lot of erratic movement, sudden things happening. That's going to be all month. And we also have that very fiery um, patterning that's been going on for quite a while now since the May energy that that came in. That's going to continue. 
Um, now, this fire energy does come in with one aspect of it being really, really positive and the other aspect of it being really negative. Now, if we look at the negative of this fire energy, I always say to people, you know, like people are just the way that they are out there in the world until you upset them. When you upset them, it's like, as Wayne Dwyer used to say, it's squeezing a tube of toothpaste. So when you upset somebody, just it's like you tr you're squeezing that tube of toothpaste and what, whatever is inside the person is going to come out. And that's when you see the real issues within an individual you know when that all when that always comes out so you know again it's like this is why I, I i work with people to do to do deep subconscious transformational work because once they're healed internally then it's like then things are done things are said and it doesn't upset them so you're not getting what's inside like inside that tube of toothpaste coming out um okay now we're still in this this trying to get things um, like into harmony, like happening, but it's also this energy vibration that I'm picking up has got a lot to do with the idealism, like how our world is really meant to be. So it's about moving from the fear of hanging on to how it has been to move into the idealism in regard to the way that it is meant to be. There's a lot of reassessing also um, in regard to who people really want to be in the world and what it is that they actually want to do. And there's a lot of like really big, like strong, stubborn energy that comes in around that. And of course, we know that sign in astrology is a sign of Taurus. It's the bull. Yeah. So um, the big reassessing ar around that, especially if you have that Taurian energy in your charts, that's going to be, that's going to come up. Okay. Now, when we look at our, our cards for the month of September, we're looking at um, a lot of a lot of upheaval, and things are going to be broken down. Um, I also got uh, the card energy vibration coming up in regard to needing to turn your back and walk away from everyone and everything that is no longer relevant. And there will be a lot of shedding of tears, uh, but there will be an audacious victory that's going to come out in regard to that. It's sort of like uh, you're at the crossroads. So it's like, I don't know which way to go. Will I go this way? Will I go that way? It's like, I am not quite sure. So it's called, will you just sit back and you wait? And there's going to be a lot of change happen, taking place in regard to the way people think about things, like their belief systems. Um, we're also looking at um, people with a lot of new career directions and it's really interesting, isn't it, in this month of September, because we've got all of this emotional energy. So it's like, ah, okay, yep, I got it. Um, it's like, I was just told, it's about emotionally what feels right and what doesn't feel right. And, and I'm finding that very much so like on the planet at the moment in regard to people just handing their power away to other people. And this is what, this is what, uh, what our programming has been about. So our, pre our programming has been about us listening to somebody else, taking what we are being told what to do. This is how you have to live your life. This is, these are the rules. These are the regulations. Yeah. And it's like, and as that is all starting to break down, if you don't have that core understanding of who you are and what your belief systems are and understanding your fears, then you will actually find yourself transferring all of that onto other people. So I need that person to tell me what to do. I need that person to tell me what to think. And I'm always saying to people, when people say to me, you know, well, what do you think I should do? I go, I don't know. I don't know what you should do. What do you think you should do? Yeah, because we're, we're just raised not to think for ourselves. Well, we've got the good Donald Trump here and we've got a whole new cycle that will be happening in the world and things will actually come into bloom. 
Um, so we've got a lot of that happening around this month of September. And of course, I've said to you all before, and you've heard me on sort of like the platforms, you know, when I've shared, October's going to be a huge month. Like it's a month of this universal vibration of karma, right? So I mean, it's like, I mean, you know, so I'm saying to people, you get your acts together in this month of September, because if you don't, it's like October's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And then when we move into November, the November energy is the vibration of the 17. And we all know that the 17 energy vibrates to Q. So, like, you know, like it's like pretty, pretty, pretty full on. And then when we move into our December energy, that's the number of God, but it's also the number of completion. So we're, we're heading into like a really, really interesting, interesting, um, you know, journey for these last months of the year. Now, um, oh, great. Okay. Um, they're just saying to me that the light is, is now really bur burrowing, burrowing its way right down into all of the dark and it's going into all of the corners of everything. So the dark, all of the dark is going to be exposed. Anyone who is of the dark, they won't be able to hide anymore. Anyone that is doing work that's got the dark energy connected to it, they won't be able to hide um, any longer as well. So a lot of people yep okay yep what yep okay what i've been told is it's like hibernation hibernation will be a good thing a good thing to do the month of september if you're able to do that um, because the universe is going to be working on balance a lot of people are going to go through massive massive rebirths there's going to be a lot of death now with this i'm looking at the death of everything that's no longer relevant to bring in what is yeah but also there's going to be a lot of deaths and I've been dealing with like with a lot of this yeah with this um they call it the SADS S-A-D-S -S. yeah it's like my first granddaughter died of SIDS so now we've got SADS and she died a week after having her boosters so I can say I don't have to go into what I think SADS is all about and I think you are all aware as well um, there is going to be surrender, okay? Um, but it's like I'm just wanting to say to you all, oh, whatever it is that you do, don't make a foolish move. Um, don't go out there battling, battling other people um, because I've got this card that's come up for this month and we've got the battling energy, but all I've got over the top of that is tears. And I'm just wanting to say to people, just release the burdens and let them all go. Because the more we go into that, that battling energy, the more we go into the negative, and then we know that the negative actually feeds the dark. They want this. They, they need this energy. So if you find yourself getting involved in anything that's got a negative aspect to it, it's like you are bringing that negative energy is coming up, and that's feeding, that's feeding them. It's feeding the cabal, it's feeding the Illuminati, it's feeding the black hats. So like, so, you know, like pull yourselves up, like, you know, like give me a break. I, at this point in time, it's like, it's time to, to rise up. There's a song, isn't it? Rise up. Anyway, um, so I'll have a look at that for my seminar next weekend. It's a really, really great song. So it's about um, just bringing your energy levels up putting your energy levels into the God energy vibration. And, you know, you those of you that have been following me for a while, you know my attitude about God. It's not nothing to do with the church. It's got to do with, it's like that that omnipresence that's, that's always there. Um, now, I'm also she, seeing here, ooh, okay, uh, lies are going to be exposed. Um, and that usually that card usually doesn't mean that, but I've just been told that's what it means today. Um, as people are actually going through a journey of self-mastering, um, there's going to be a lot of knives in the back. So, you know, so people just like just lay low, 
lay low and don't get involved in other people's issues right let people deal with their own issues this month because as i said we're on that higher vibration of the emotion and you just need to be aware of that because that can run amok and that can really see you like up the creek without a paddle going like oh my god why did i allow myself to get involved in this why did i allow myself to do this you know i should have i should have known i should have been on top of this um and i'm also looking at some a lot of issues here around money um so just be just be aware right like what you're doing with money and what's what's uh what's what where is your importance going is your importance going on making a whole lot of money um because at this point in time it's 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 not about that at this point in time it's about helping each other it's not about making a whole lot of money yeah like I say to people when I go on onto their platforms, you know, I said, you know, I just say, I don't want you earning any money or charging money for having me do what it is that I do. I do this because this is coming from my heart to support people as much as I can to get them empowered, to get them thinking for themselves and if everybody does that it's like our world that we'll be stepping into we will be a part of that but if you're still into handing your power away and wanting other people to give you your answers well like i'm sorry it's like it's going to be a little bit of a rough one for you okay now i'm getting lots of tears over this month and again tears emotion yeah but you know we also are going to experience some things being exposed um so this is like this is this this is just going to continue along and it's been happening for a while but now it's like it's like we're starting to cook with five burners on our gas stove instead of two so things are hotting up get clarity people cut release and let go of everything and everyone that is no longer relevant look at the energy vibration of instead of standing your ground and being indignant of trying to go more with the flow this is you know the flowing energy the flow of the emotion and then that will see you a lot more balanced and listening to your intuition because those gut feelings guys are never ever wrong and as people say to me how do i know if it's gut feeling or a fear tamara and i go easy i go a fear makes sense a gut feeling doesn't and by doing that you'll start to find yourself breaking from restrictions that have been around you yes we are at the end of that cycle and over the end over that end of the cycle um, card that is showing up is the devil card so it's like we're guys we're at the end of the cycle of that and i've said this before it's like it's this cleaning up because justice must prevail justice must prevail but they are quite they're going to try and keep us in a state of mental dilemma all right so it's like as soon as you find yourself going out of balance that state of mental dilemma it's called cut it cut it not doing it not going there and pull on your inner strength and pull on your inner knowing to keep that balancing energy there for you sit on the fence and bide your time because it's like there's a lot that's still taking place in regard in regard to um others out there defending things for us and then we see we see some celebration there so i hope that this has helped you it's like it's a long one it's it's a 19 minute one um, that i've done for this month because that's what that is showing up and all of that had to be explained because this is a very very important month and if i can be of service to anyone you know my website tamara t-e-y-m-a-r-a.com and i'll see you next month bye